Hello explorers and welcome back to a brand new video. In this week's video, we headed up into the mountains, into the deep forest areas to explore a huge mansion. Now this didn't feel like any other mansion I've explored before. Definitely a very uneased feeling like something seriously happened here. The family completely vanished. Leaving personal things behind, such as clothing, photos, and loads of various bits. So in 2011, where did this family go? Still puzzles me today. But the weirdest feeling is, after I explored this place, it felt like something was attached to me. A very negative feeling. Every room I wandered felt like something was watching me. If it wasn't the wild boars outside trying to chew us up, something didn't want us in the house either. Let me know what you think guys, put in the comments below. And if this video hits 10,000 likes, I will go back and personally stay the night. This house dates back to the early 1900s and had the same family all through the generations here. So what really happened here? Will we return to tell another story? So we just drove this literally, literally fear all the way out here to explore this abandoned mansion. Check out Steve's car. Make sure you give him a like. <laughs> Help him towards a new one. And <laughs> let's get on with the video. So, welcome back. Obviously, we got over the intro bit. Ooh. Tripping everywhere today. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go up and explore this mansion. Sorry, I look like tired. Look like absolute hell at the minute. We've been on the road 12, day, 12 days now. Lack of sleep. Uh, we've been eating pretty good though the last couple of days due to Raddick, so I uh, can't complain. Got to admit, his pasta was lovely, I had three bowls of it. So Josh, if you see this video, trust his cooking, it's good. Um, anyway, we need to snoop around this place, and uh, thank you again for all the love and support you've shown AWE, uh, just by watching the video. But yeah, if you do wish to contribute in any way, buy us a coffee, um, thanks for the PayPal and channel, ship, uh, channel memberships. Right, let's get with you. Love you, lads. Let's get them around the back of this place. You can just feel it's been out of love for a long time. This bit here is completely wide open, but this isn't the bit we've come to see. But we're going to go check it out afterwards, anyway, guys. If you imagine living on this ground, how beautiful it is. You can see literally there's a power line there, completely gone down. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't find the dogs to these kennels. Guys, check that view out. Looking all over Italy. This huge outback. You can see the barbecue area there. So I'm talking very quiet at the moment because when exploring properties, you never know if you're in the right bit or in the wrong bit. You can see all the little table and chairs sat outside. Family gatherings. But this is why we're here, guys. Look at the size of this. It's huge. You can see it's just a massive property. You can see the fear on Steve's face. Can you look scared? That's it, that's it. I wasn't lying, guys. <laughs> I love the jokes in videos. No, to be fair, though, it is scary what we do. 
we could get shot, we could get fed to the pigs, we could be part of the ground. This is me laughing of That's not a good sign already, Steve. Well, there's probably a creature walking around here. Someone chopped his head off. Dave, you okay? Dave? Dave? Here, so you guys are invited, but I gotta get rid of the wild boars first. Sleepovers. <coughs> Sleepovers. Everyone's invited. Come through. Nice. When I went down there to check if there was anyone, you know, coming up to, you know, come get us. Uh, yeah. Did you see all the trails? The wild boar. Those are all yeah. boar trails. Did so, you see the tree and the yeah. where he's dug around? We have to be park. careful. Yeah. The wild yeah. boar, literally. And the only way to escape is to climb something. You need to climb up high. So if you're being chased, you. just make sure you climb something. Yeah. yeah. Why do you? I don't know what they do, I don't want to find out. But I know they can kill people. If you see me eat a bacon sandwich, you know I've done one. <laughs> That's jokes, guys. <laughs> On a serious note, um, yeah. Let's just film this quick so we don't yeah. get eaten by wild boars. This place is literally so remote, you can hear people talking like for miles away and it keeps freaking us out. They can probably hear us. I'm going to take the living room. Is that the kitchen? Yeah. Let's go. to the living area. What is that? It's like a little stone structure. So I just wonder what people do in the middle of nowhere. I know what was kept in this tank here. So my exploring is about living the past. It's having that feel when you walk in these places, seeing families gathering around the fire. Imagine a big roaring fire here. I mean, we're in North Italy, so it's pretty damn cold up here. She looks like that kid that didn't get a Christmas present. And you can see how structurally damaged this place really is. A drawer full of bulbs. <laughs> I love when they used to put this like material inside the drawers. Now this place is so cold in here. I don't even know what this was. It's like dried up leaves. I say it's cold, you're probably going to laugh at me now. Let's put that the right way up. Okay. I oh, said so temperature in here is actually 7 degrees. That's pretty cold for a house. I love this. Look at this little boot. So cool. And a little frog. That is incredible, this painting. Oh, okay, so these are bits that have just decayed and fell off. It's like a 3D. You can see all the horsebacks. It's like a big battle. The little ashtray, you can imagine the cigarette smell. In Christmas time in this huge front room. As a kid growing up, my living room, it 
it's pretty much probably the size of here, this sofa to the fireplace, squared, like to the fire, to all the sofas here. It's probably my living room. Can you imagine five of us growing up in that small space, all open our presents Christmas Day? Oh, there's actually a picture there. Looks like grandma and daughter. Uh, Mum and daughter, sorry. Look at all the crockery still in there. All the little teacups. What's this? It's like the skin of an animal. Sounds ridiculous that we're being quiet, but I've never seen a John Player cigarette container like that. John Player special filled cigarettes, 50 in there. It's definitely been abandoned for a long time, this place. So guys, look at the table, still completely set up, sealed wine bottles, sat on the table here. This is a 1965, still sealed bro. Paintings literally bury, holding onto the wall. Cupboard drawers just full of little knickknacks, a bit like my kitchen drawer. Look. Oh wow, you've seen the butterfly dude. Bro. No way. It's like the Alchemist Mansion. Oh wow. That's some crazy preservation. His little leg. I do love butterflies. There's a dumbbell there. Oh, we've got an EVP here. Makes you wonder what's on there if we can find some batteries. If I can find another battery, I'm going to power that on. What is this? stuff everywhere in this place. Loving this painting here, look at this. As we move to the fire. As I said you can imagine the beautiful like the heat pouring off here. <laughs> These are incredible. Look at them. Real Dutch clogs. See the maker in there, it says clomp. It's incredible. See the hi fi system here as well. Hear that? Opera music. Wow, I've never seen one of these in a long time. Let's see if the young ones know what it's called. Bro, what do you, what's that? that's called? Huh? What do you reckon this is called? No, but what do you think it is? I have no idea. So this is a cassette? Yes, that's a cassette. That's a CD? Yes, and there's a record player. This is called an 8-track. Oh, Remember like the old American cars you used to slide it in the front and then it hangs out a little bit and it plays the music. What? There's no date on that. Oh, 1973. Ten years before I was born. I'll let you do the mask, guys. 
can see the light, look, it's just falling from the ceiling. These little logs there are still waiting to be put in the fire. This is a really huge kitchen. And as I said, you can imagine being in the middle of nowhere. You know, they're gonna have to, I'm shocked there was electricity here, but there is. Oh, these are so cool, these lights. They're on a counter weight so you can lower it and higher it. So there's a gas main there, but it would be probably out to an old gas bottle somewhere. cooker. All the utensils still sitting on the wall. I should wonder what was the last meal cooked here. Spices. The sugar pot. That's how long it's been here. <laughs> the sugar's gone like rock hard. I can see some salt in there. The old pasta. Now for lasagna, that's a very good quality one as well. You can feel the weight of that. I hate when everyone like, leaves everything open in these places. Shoot. Maybe that's why it was open. Little cooking gowns. There's still literally food rotting in jars. I wonder if any of these have got a date on them actually. Give us a kind of time frame. This is 2008. You obviously tins do tuna. I don't know if it's tuna, but you know tin food lasts a good couple of years normally in a tin. There's no date on that one. We could see. Some old Heinz hot chili sauce there. It went off for 2007. So that's a pretty good date on this place. So even if we said 2006, oh wait, there's a calendar. Let's see how far I'm wrong. 2011. Wow, I'm shocked. So it's still 11 years. Love seeing all the stuff still laid out exactly how it was left. There's a newspaper sitting here as well. This dates 2011. I mean, that's a pretty good, that's a good steady date there we've got. Should we ever open fridges? Stinks. Look at the phone there. Oh, I'd have a big lock like that on the door. Can we ask these steps are hollow and they drop down? Absolutely incredible. Oh my days, look at it all. I 
can't get over how much wine's here. So much different types here. Obviously, as I said, we are in Italy. They love their wine. Makes my heart go walking around these places. Okay, that's the door to the other bit. Guys, I can't wait to show you upstairs. It's amazing, this place. Sounds so weird, the flooring as well. Listen. It's like hollow underneath. Oh, maybe someone's buried under there. <laughs> I'm not even joking, you never know where this place is. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. I don't even want to talk that loud either. Just don't get why they have the big door there. If someone breaks in the basement, they can't get into the main house. Maybe they were keeping people in the basement. So we head the staircase of this mansion. I don't know why there's not many places that I feel anxiety, but in here I just don't feel right at all. So into the first bedroom. The smell you get in here. Oh, it's a very old, like a, I don't know, it's hard to explain. All the towels still stacked. All the outfits. All the trousers neatly pressed and hung out. these toys left. I'm seeing if there's a date on them. Hm. In the hotel. And the wallpaper in here as well. This is very trippy, and when I mean trippy, it kind of, I think if I was drunk and I walked in here, I'd probably be like, whoa. The tiles, the shaver's still there. There's a toothbrush still in his pack, like there. Colgate's still there to use. What is this? So old. His little pouch. Oh, he's quite steady. Must be like metal in him or something. Imagine if that was real. We could quit exploring right now. <laughs> Who says it's not? I still wouldn't ever take nothing, guys. As much as people watch this and probably think, oh, they must have loads of money out of this. But we never ever take nothing, guys. All the books, guys. This looks like a pencil portrait. All 
all the different colognes still there. Look at this. Here's the detail of that bowl top. Another one here. Here's a drinking flask. Really so cool. Love it. This marble top on top of here as well. Does that or does that not look like a really comfortable chair? So you've got the old this leather chair though, look, oh, it's so soft. An eight tracks there, the Dave Bobek. Take five, blues for Newport. I don't know any of these songs, but oh, it's amazing though, isn't it? This hard tiled floor. So another bathroom guys. This is everything's still here. Soap. The little lampshades can just fell off the wall. I've got to say, guys, I really love this cupboard, this medicine cupboard. They're band aids. Oh, I can feel the quality of that and the full standing mirror. I think that's beautiful. I'd love to have that in my bathroom. Straight into bedroom number three. Look at the size of that headboard. You see the bed literally just collapsed. Glass all over the floor. And just see how overgrown part of this house is as well. Don't even want to touch that bed. I feel like it's just going to collapse. I'll spot the Gordon's gin on the side. I love the ballerina portrait. These are amazing. I love these tight curtains. I don't think I've ever seen a, a floor standing light like that. It shows you how cold it. It's freezing in here. And every 20 minutes, half hour we're in here, it's dropping and dropping. Still smell like the soap in this bathroom. It's like him and her. This is like, I don't know, everything like for a lady. It just shows you how cold it is. It's got a plug in heater in the bathroom. Love these like, oil type paintings. You can just feel the quality on it as well. Oh, paint. Okay, this is like your storage cupboard. It's maybe another bedroom. It is. Oh, it's an office with bedroom. memories here. An old certificate. If you can translate what that's for guys. Oh look at little aeroplane. You can imagine sitting up here looking over all the views. Obviously the trees have overgrown there. But doing all your typing. Look 
it is. Family memories. And this is all at this property as well. Do you think the generation of the family that grew up here? Wow. And the memories they created in this house. There it is. You think this is probably the dogs that were that kept at one point in the cages, but that is a side here. And there's the house there looking up the hill. Just found another one. Again, at the property. It's an amazing Italian family. Look. When the moon hits your eyes like a pop. <laughs> It's a married day. So this is the couple that I believe was living here because I see the same guy all the way through. Like, and this is just a little bit, it doesn't change much. So this couple built their entire life and a business at this address. With the shoes next to the bed. Oh, no way, guys. So the Fiat 126. Uno, it must have been a one owner car. And this is probably the registration document when they purchased this car. Let me cover the address. They purchased it in 1989 for free, 397 point. Oh, it's Italian old money. That is incredible. So when this car was first ever purchased. So I'm just gonna quickly go up the second floor. Obviously we can hear the dog. I'm not gonna be able to get in there guys. Oh, wow. Another bedroom. So we keen here and a dog outside. This bathroom looks incredible, look at it. Really 70s, 60s feel in here. Okay. So weird, this is upstairs, but another like living seating area. Some nutcrackers there. See if you can translate this, guys. bits of the property. Oh wow, look at the old tape recorder. I've never seen one like that. This place is huge. And look, there's a load of eight tracks here. A David Bowie. Probably worth money some of these, I don't know. Loving bits of art like this. I don't think that's a print, but still beautiful though. Oh, I'm gonna head back downstairs, guys, because <laughs> we don't know if the dog's literally gonna bolt in in a minute, any minute. Ah, oh, so I see a lot of photos of the family in a function room. So I think this was here, Steve, where they had their parties and stuff. Oh, well, there's the old organ sitting over there, and the speaker's standing in the corner. 
this is where the this is where the magic happened. Look at the old deck system. This is like the tape recorder off the Evil Dead. Look at this radic. Everybody say hey yeah. Amazing. Look at the little golf cart. Sat here abandoned. Just like the rest of this property. So cool though. Abandoned. Completely forgotten. You think the fun times they had in here? Playing games. The old cigarette cards. I think these are. Oh, maybe not. What is all these? Imagine the fire burning there. Look at all the books just left. You think the fun times they had in this room? I love stuff that's old, like the old cars come with the old silver ashtrays in the back, just like this snooker table that's smothered in golf balls. Explains the golf car. I'm guessing the uh, sex and zen. <laughs> wow. Loving a sailor's hat, look at that. VHS, the old cats. This is so cool, isn't it? Look at this snooker counter. Really old retro 70s feel. Probably a gambling man, all played uh, smoking his cigarettes, smoking a tobacco and <laughs> drinking the uh, drink. I was not expecting this in here. Uh, the snooker table. Yeah, I'm not sure what these are. I don't know if it's maybe out of a, a little game or something. It's the old Italian money. up there. Oh, it's amazing, it really is. Not sure why all the collection of doors are in here. Oh look at the ceiling. It's all the patterns around there. I didn't even see this. Look at this light. How retro is that? So cool. Amazing guys. Do love them lights above that snooker table though. A proper workshop. Loving it. It's like a surveyor's drawing board there. And some lockers. Oh look at this table and chairs. It's just like 70s space age style furniture. And under here guys is a huge bandsaw. Look at that. Really loving these old steps. It takes you off from the old barn. Looking over to the house there. I wasn't expecting that up there. Look at this room, guys. All the portraits everywhere. Dude, I was not expecting this. No way was I expecting this. Does this guy look familiar? Sorry? Does this guy look familiar? Guy from? From other mansion? 
Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, the, the wine place. Yes. Oh. And there's a lot of wine here. This could be a link to the other mansion, dude. Sorry, didn't video. It does. Oh, it's not. It's very good. I don't know, guys. You know what? I didn't know if it was a wine video, but. Look at this. Photos. Memories outside this huge property. Look at all the taxi dummies. Now the head's come off right in a way. I'm not a massive fan of taxi dummies, guys. The artwork is absolutely incredible in here. This is what I call upcycling. Look at this. It's actually turned the TV into the whole, I don't know, like a little village going on. This is real, look at the art. This is all hand carved as well, out of a piece of wood. Oh, that beautiful bit's unfinished. She's a very beautiful looking woman. I wish I could draw, I really do. Portraits of little babies. This is incredible. I cannot get over this being out in the barn. But what a beautiful area to work. Look at it. Oh, look. So these are bits he's unfinished. It was sitting on the board. Just make sure you want to touch in some bits. Sad, isn't it, to think this is probably his last bit of work here. And look at the palette. The painter's palette. How do you even hold this? Is it like that? That's so amazing, dude. I feel like this is my favourite room of the house now. Stone floor. It's incredible work. These are people's loved ones that he's painted and drew charcoal drawing. Yeah. Hey, does that look a bit like Steve? But they've made it look a bit older. <laughs> Steve, Steve, I think that's you, that ancient one. Oh, yeah, bro, this I is think it's the mouth, bro. Oh, this, this is my house, bro. This is ancient Steve. This is a uh, Greek Steve. <laughs> Greek Steve. Uh, Roman Steve. I was not expecting that guys in here. The beautiful art in here. Each is coming as well and just working its way through, growing over this place. Everywhere you look, there's even memories or photographs. Can't believe it's incredible though. I feel like this was her or his place, of, away from everything. And the chain on that door, he didn't want anyone coming in here when he locked this place up. Let me show you how high vaulted ceiling. So now if you're into art and you'd love your own studio at home, you imagine having this. It's crazy. I'm actually really amazed with this place. I'm glad we came. Just a quick peek in the garage, guys. It is getting dark. Oh, I love that smell. The old oil smell, the workshop smell. The old cutting disc, the pillar drill. This is my kind of workshop. I love making stuff. Love the shadow board there. And I've never ever seen 
a forklift on a burning building. First time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you realise I ran a bit of diesel? Let's turn her over. New battery on it. This thing will bounce into life. <laughs> All the expanding foam exploded out everywhere. Having the old motocross crash helmet. Sorry girls, this is proper, like a dirty old man's workshop, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little old. Have you ever seen an abandoned forklift? No. In a building? <laughs> yeah. A picket fork truck. Yeah. Oh, look at that sickle, bro. This guy was a craftsman. He was a craftsman? He was a skier. He yeah. was a scuba diver. And this man was the hardest craftsman. And I feel like I feel like this is how he disposed of everyone. <laughs> That's a joke. Wait, look all the expanding foam. Alright, I'm going to jump out of here now. There's not even a guard on that. <laughs> this is called a chop bench saw. This is a pillar drill. Pizza. We already said all this. Dude, he made pizza. I feel like this is for pizza. I'm not 100% sure. In here? Yeah, it's what I need to do. Alright, right, let's head out and let's end this video in a minute. <laughs> the little pizza area, sitting area, barbecues. Crazy dude. There's a table there. Bro, imagine just having a barbecue, cooking pizza. Dude, why don't we cook our own pizza here today? I'm so hungry. <sighs> Give me pizza. You're hungry? I'm hungry, bro. Let's I was trying to imagine all everyone here, pizza. all the laughs they're having at family events, the fresh pizza coming out the oven there. I love the, the table legs out of the old wood branches. Oh, it is. I'm salivating right now. Yeah, look there, they've got an apiary there, and also they've had birds in there. So you imagine without the trees there at the windows, this is the family view. This house is literally so remote. <laughs> I lit oh, wait there. So right, quite a way over there. Looks like the nearest house. <laughs> it's literally nothing. I'm not pulling your leg, I'm not exaggerating. It's true. all the old barns and garage bits. So cold. So this is the back of that place there. These are really cool with these old outdoor seating, I'm guessing. Like something out of a horror movie. Completely stood still everything. Driving, yeah? yeah, always. Steve, oh. You got enough room, guys. Good <laughs> room, man. All right. This car. Just get in. Oh. Hey, Dave, you can get on my lap. Guys, ah. before we all get on there and head back down the hill, I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching and all your support to AWE. Give Steve some love as well. Go and check him out if you don't know of him, but I'm sure you do. My man Raddock in there as well. I'm sure he'll give me some kind of link to put in description somewhere <laughs> but anyway guys it's out from me out from steve out from adam love to you all and thank you so so much for all your patreon support channel memberships and buy us a pizza honestly guys yeah, thanks for all the support guys love you loads from the bottom of my heart and steve and everyone else take care god bless see you soon <laughs>